everyone, wanted to do a video today on expanding the aquaponics system, uh, which is made out of stock tanks from Tractor Supply. I ran into some issues. This is just a 100 gallon stock tank, Tractor Supply, I think it's like $80, $90 generally. Um, they come with this cap, and it says it's an inch and a half cap, and so I bought all of these inch and a half PVC connections. Um, both a male and female ones. However, when you take off this cap and try to connect an inch and a half, the diameter works. So if you see there, it's about the same size, but the screw or the, um, the threads on this are not the same as a standard PVC thread. So this actually doesn't work um, and the internet, I tried looking online, there's not really an easy way to do that with some type of connection like this. Um, in my case, I happened to also pick up a flexible, um, it's just a rubber inch and a half connector. I think it's about uh, maybe two to three inches or so. And this looks like it'll actually work uh, correctly. So this is the setup for it, put it on the threads, tighten this clamp, and then I'll be able to put in an inch and a half PVC pipe. And on the other side, go like that, we'll tighten this. Um, this connection will go to the other stock tank. Um, I might put in some PVC fittings like a three-way in the middle in case I wanted to expand it further into 300 gallons. At that point, you can put on, you know, a ball valve, inch and a half ball valve, um, but you don't have to use all these special little screws and slips and everything else. Um, you can just go from directly to this connector. So once again, it's an inch and a half connector, uh, flexible. You can find it at Home Depot. They're like $4.00. Maybe that's some more details on it. Um, another thing when I do end up connecting these, so this one has fish in it. There's about 10 to 12, just pan fish, maybe some bass, some sunfish, things like that, bluegill. Um, on the inside of the stock tank, you can see that hole right there. You would want to plug that up take off the cap and then you know a very minimal amount of water is going to uh, start coming out of there so you can connect this pretty quickly you just push it on have this already set up uh, bring it together to the other stock tank and then you're good to go um, I haven't seen this online, so once again, you know, it's there's just not a standard connection to these stock tanks for some reason. Seems like a dumb idea. You should have the same threading as standard PVC stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of people looking to do this. Um, maybe they just they don't want to connect it to another stock tank. They can put up just that, a ball valve of some sort. You can reduce it down so that the pipe diameter comes from an inch and a half down to something like inch, inch and a quarter. Um, put on a hose, um, hose bib or something, connect it to a hose. You could use this as a water tank. I mean, it's really, really quite good for what they are. So um, that's all that I had to show today. I'll probably show a, a video of once it's all connected, the two systems expanding from 100 gallons to 200 gallons. Uh, basically, I want um, each tank to have a certain number of fish in there. And then everything's connected just so it's more resilient with that. So thanks for watching.